Kia ora my name's Sarah Knox, I'm a lecturer and the undergraduate uh, advisor in dance studies at the University of Auckland. I desperately love dance because of the ways that it brings people together and it brings people together who maybe wouldn't ordinarily uh, find each other in the world. I think when you come to dance studies especially, uh, there's a number of people in the room who are incredibly diverse and bring a wealth of knowledge, different backgrounds, different journeys, different ideas about what dance means. And that connection that happens in the dance studio can be really magical and very transformative. I think it's an incredibly exciting experience to have. Um, joining me today is Danielle Twentyman, who is a recent graduate of the Bachelor of Dance Studies. Kia ora, my name is Danielle Twentyman and I'm a fresh undergraduate student here at the University of Auckland. Uh, why I love dance is because I feel like I get to share my passion with so many people and get to make connections with people as well um, on many different levels and discover many different things about who we are, what we have to offer the world. So my first year I was definitely um, challenged in a really great way and it felt very rewarding to go through it and to learn about all kinds of dance. I especially loved the choreography paper at the end of the year because I feel like after everything we did in the year it kind of was a moment for us to bring in everything we um, had learned over the time and bring in all the different aspects of dance and get to share it with all our people and all our loved ones and kind of yeah mm. yeah wrap up it's a nice culmination of all of the things isn't yeah, it that end of year yeah, performance yeah. choreography yeah. performance everyone has a chance to show who they are and what they've learned mm. and what they've taken away from yeah, the whole year. In the Bachelor of Dance Studies, we work predominantly in the dance studio and um, we're right now in our beautiful building in the heart of the um, University of Auckland City Campus. We've got three studios in this building and then upstairs we have our social area and all of our staff offices and it's a really great place to be. But in most of your courses, you'll be in the dance studio sitting on the floor in a circle with your teachers, with your peers, you'll be dancing, you'll be talking, you'll be looking at video material, reading material, you'll be having discussions, uh, but this is really where it all takes place. The timetables were different in semester one and semester two. It just depended on what courses you had and when, but um, yeah, there wasn't a consistent nine to five kind of day, it just depended on when you were coming in and for what subjects. In each paper you tend to have two or three classes yeah. a week and each yeah. class will be around two hours. Yeah. Um, so your timetable sort of looks a little bit bitsy, doesn't it? Yeah. But actually, you end up being quite busy with extra rehearsals. Yeah. Um, yeah. What kinds of yeah. things would you be doing in amongst your class? Yeah, classes? definitely practicing and rehearsing with peers outside of class. Um, I think, yeah, for the assessments, mm. for that kind of part of it. But then we'd also be collaborating and working on different uh, lesson plans, different structures mm. for mm. the- Writing essays. Yeah, writing essays, yeah. getting together, having study groups. Yeah, to kind of get the work done outside yeah, of class. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. So in your first year of a Bachelor of Dance Studies, uh, you'll be doing eight different papers, so four in each semester. And the first year of Dance Studies is really to provide a broad foundational learning experience in dance in a variety of areas. Um, the papers that you'll find yourself doing, your dance education paper, where you learn all about um, who you are as a dance teacher, as an educator, and what kind of um, educational facilitator um, you might like to be in the future. You have your contemporary pre-dance vocabularies paper um, which I'm teaching at the moment with our amazing first year cohort. We learn dance phrases, we learn dance technique. You do a kapahaka paper and a Pacific music and dance paper which are really central to being a dance practitioner in Aotearoa and Oceania. And then in your second semester you're going to do um, choreography with me again. Um, we have a really great time in that paper. You do kinesiology, learning all about how your body works and learning about how to move safely and facilitate other people's movements 
dance safely. You have your dance history paper, learning about um, important practitioners, artists um, who have uh, transformed what dance means to us in the 21st century. And then you have a dance writing paper, so looking at academic writing, looking at dance uh, like creative writing, poetry, transforming movement into writing as well. Um, so a really, really broad spectrum of, um, of papers and experiences in dance. So some dancing, some performing, some choreographing, some teaching, some learning and following. Uh, you do presentations, you do dance film projects, you do essays, have I missed anything? <laughs> Picture <laughs> coaches. So. Um, yeah. so it's really looking at uh, how can you communicate what you're learning in dance in a variety of different modes. Um, so you're developing that portfolio of skills in your first year. All of those papers across the board will then be developed when you go into your second and third year of your Bachelor of Dance Studies. So those are the foundational ones and then obviously you're jumping up a level and then up a level again into your third year in terms of the critical thinking and the expectations for the rigour of your creativity as well. So many of you will want to know, how do I get in? Um, and to gain entry into the Bachelor of Dance Studies, first of all, you need to fill out the online application form through the University of Auckland website. One of the questions that I always get um, coming through is, what should I put in my CV and what should I write about in the written statement? Um, so starting with the CV, we want to get a broad sense of who you are as a human as well as what your dance background is. And whatever you want to put into that CV that you think are the most important things about you, you should write those things down. Uh, but some useful bits to include are your dance background, so whatever dance learning you've done leading up. Uh, to this application point and that might be your studio dance, it might be your crew that you're with, your hip-hop crew, might be your NCA dance experience, it might be community dance work, performances that you've done, competitions, um, it can be anything but getting a sense of the overall pathway of your dance interest and the different influences that you've had um, are really valuable for us to see. We like to know if you're engaged in the community somewhere, if you do work with your church or with any local community groups, if you have been teaching dance. We want to know about that. We want to know what your interests are, your other hobbies. If you play basketball in the weekend, put that in. Um, all of those things help us to get a sense of um, what's important to you, who you are, um, and what kind of person we might be inviting into the program. You also need to provide a written statement and in that it can be maybe a page or half a page um, really articulating perhaps why you want to come to dance studies, what you're aiming to do when you graduate um, or anything else about your dance journey or your life journey that you want us to know and we really value those two documents um, because as I said we want to know who you are as a person it's not just about your dancing and your dance background we're looking for well-rounded humans um, who are going to contribute back to dance studies just as much as um, we help help you get where you're going um, so that's step one from there, you'll be invited to join a workshop audition. Were you nervous? How was your experience no. of auditioning? No, it wasn't nerve-wracking at all. I think coming into the space, it felt very warm and inclusive, and everyone kind of got really stuck into it. I remember the, the dance study students who led the audition when I was the auditionee. They were really getting amongst it, and then they allowed us to Kind of interact with each other and co-create and form together the dance rather than it kind of being a you're there and I'm here um, type situation. It was really great just being able to relax into the process and yeah I felt super super comfortable. And that's typically held on a weekend and it is very informal so you might think of an audition we have to wear a leotard and you have a number and there's people up the front of the room with a white tablecloth and a cup of water. It's not like that at all. We try to keep it really friendly. Um, I hope it was friendly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no. Really friendly. We have our students, um, our current students will teach that workshop. 
have you taught that work? You have, I haven't have. you? Yeah, well, yeah so think, you've been on yeah, both sides where you've yeah. auditioned and yeah. been facilitating. Yeah. 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 yeah, That workshop usually includes um, a warm up, maybe a game, mm. doing some phrases of material, so learning, learning some movement and then also some choreographic work as well. And in that we want to see who you are, uh, how you interact with other people in the room, what kind of energy you bring, what kind of person you are. Then at the end of that session, there's time for one-on-one -on -one chats with um, the staff members who are observing, and we just want to get to know you a little bit better, but that's also an opportunity for you to ask us questions because it's just as important that you know what you're getting yourself into and that you feel like Dance Studies is the right place for you, um, as well as us thinking about whether you're a good fit for us. While we're doing those, we really like for applicants to chat to the current students and through that process you can ask them questions perhaps that you think they might be able to answer better um, or maybe you don't want to ask the staff mm -hmm. and we leave you to it to have a chat with the current students mm -hmm. to get a sense of what dance studies life is truly mm -hmm. like as a student. Yeah. In that audition process um, we don't look for the perfect dancer with a particular body type you should turn up as who you are. We want you to wear what you're comfortable wearing. We don't need you to bring any particular dance gear. You don't need to prepare a solo or anything to perform to us. We will facilitate that workshop yeah. um, and show you everything that you need to learn along the way. Um, we try and keep it fun and friendly and with a bit of banter and a bit of laughter because if you're feeling relaxed, then you'll show your best self. Tell us about your journey in. Um, into dance studies? Oh my goodness, yeah, so I grew up dancing from a very young age. Um, I was in studios in the community, but then when I went to high school, I studied NCEA um, dance studies, and that's where I was kind of opened up to a broader range of uh, the possibilities and the potentialities in dance. And yeah, my high school teacher was the one who encouraged me to take a step into dance studies and to learn it at, at a tertiary level. We have had people in the programme who have um, been in hip-hop crews. We've got a strong um, hip-hop culture within dance studies. Lots of students coming in through that pathway, through local crews. Um, throughout the country we have students who have come in through the NCEA dance pathway and they've done lots of stage challenge um, and you dance and learning in local dance studios and perhaps training in western dance forms like ballet or contemporary or jazz. Other students um, coming in from a cultural dance yeah. bounce background who maybe have done polyfest, they've been very involved in um, perhaps community or um, high school uh, kapahaka groups. We do have students who have done very little dance training before and maybe they're unfamiliar with contemporary dance technique or some of the other styles that we teach. When you apply for the Bachelor of Dance Studies, it's important to recognise that we intentionally seek out a really diverse range of people. We want to know who you are as a mover. Um, who you want to be as a creative, as a practitioner, and how dance has impacted you in your life, and maybe where you want to take dance in the future. What I would say to my younger self before studying dance studies is to definitely keep an open mind. Uh, you learn so many different things from so many different people, and I think, yeah, in terms of keeping an open mind, you never know where you're going to end up in the end and you never know what possibilities and opportunities are going to present themselves to you. So in keeping that open mind, saying yes to everything that does present itself to you, you can find yourself in some really wonderful places and having some really wonderful experiences with so many different people. And yeah, it's an exciting journey to go on.